have a very special guest. Her name is Yi, and she's from Hollywood High School. She's been helping us out. And Yi, welcome to the broadcast. Thank you. Have you had fun? Yeah, a lot. Well, and I've you, learned a lot of things. You too, have learned yeah. a lot of things. This is like the first time we. I, I'm helping with uh, a live show. Oh, everything I, I've done, it's recorded and edited. So this is the first time I'm like, if this comes out wrong, this, this is it. It's a everybody's, disaster. Yeah, everybody's looking at and it. And then I'll be like, you ruined it. <laughs> no, this is what we're doing. We're paying it forward. We're teaching you. People helped me out when I started in the mm-hmm. business. I'm making sure to help you out. Um, you guys are amazing. You've been a big help. Thank you. Thank you. Have you learned a lot? That's yeah, all I lot. care yes, about. Yes, a lot. Okay. Now, I'm going to teach you one other thing. I am going to turn the floor over to you, and I am going to give you the opportunity to do an interview live on camera of me. Okay. Whatever questions you want to ask or you think your classmates would want to ask, I'm going to answer them now. Live on camera. This will be your first on-camera interview ever. Live. Okay. No pressure. Okay. (laughs) So welcome everybody to Be Terrific. Tell them your name, and then ask me the questions. Oh, you got to introduce me too. Okay. (laughs) Um, My name is Eugene. John, uh, I am a student at Hollywood High School. I'm part of the New Media Academy, and I'm here with Michael Art- Artsis, uh, and working for Be Terrific. <laughs> Excellent. You're doing great. Yeah, thank you. Um, one of the questions I want to know is how long did it take you to become this? Since w- since when did you start it? So I started um, my broadcasting <coughs> career as a uh, reporter and anchor in 1998. I uh, started covering the Jets and Mets. I, I did uh, tape news segments that we would tape and edit. I'd have uh, you know 15 to 30 seconds on camera in each one of those packages. They were called news packages where I was on camera and I'd voice write the script and voice them over and many times shoot and edit them. Um, but sometimes I had a camera person. And uh, we met him before, one of the guys, Paul McNiff from Canon now. Um, and so, yeah, basically it took me a number of years to get to the point where I could do a live broadcast by myself. Um, and it was really radio, I think, that gave me that start. And the thing that was great about radio is radio is theater of the mind, so you have to learn to paint the picture for people. You really have to draw it out for yeah. them. But it also, you have to have wall-to-wall noise. There cannot be a dead silence. I can't sit there and not say something. Yeah. So. You know, it was great experience to do this. And I would say, you know, 1998 till about 2001 or two. And then I got my first uh, on-air job in 2002 as an on-air television anchor, a reporter, and the assistant news director at a TV station in New Jersey called Channel 10. And, uh, you know, when I started, I, I worked about six, seven days a week. I got paid for one, and I worked, uh, showed up every day, and went to class. So it was pretty amazing. I yeah. was in college at the time, <laughs> and that was uh, almost uh, 15 years ago now. So you just said that you had like uh, you work with the camera and. By the way, don't ever drink something like this on camera. It's very okay. <laughs> we're having fun here at Cinegear. It's a yeah. <laughs> so you said that you were like you work with cameras and different. Uh, are you like focused on hosting things now or you're still working in different well I do a bunch of different stuff that's a great question and uh, we just lost an iPad Air due to <laughs> uh, wind it's very windy here and it crashed to the ground and probably smashed yes. be a good thing that I have Apple Care on that thing because I'll just go to the Apple store and say give me another one how bad is that Josh keep on rolling Roll. I guess uh, <laughs> keep on going I guess it's pretty bad but we'll uh, go to camera two I guess anyway um, your question was, you notice how I keep my train of thought and yeah. I know where we're going and, and what we're doing. Mm-hmm. Um, I do a lot of on-air hosting yeah. today. I like to focus on that. I enjoy doing this probably the most of anything, but I also enjoy directing and producing. I do some of that. I have a video production company. We do very high-end video production and commercials on television and around the uh, world for all sorts of great corporations. And then we do I filmmaking. I teach you know, through seminars and stuff like that. And in addition to that, we've got... Uh, you know, be terrific, which is where we're doing this, and we're going to grow that and make it a really great place for people to watch amazing shows and live broadcasts from events like this one. And uh, we're just building it out. By the way, here's my boy Tom. I love your sleeves, man. Those are awesome. Tom is the man here at uh, Cinegear and really at Paramount Studios. He has electrified this entire place, and we had a lot of fun last night. I got to drive a golf cart on the Paramount lot, feel like a real director, producer slash a guy from Entourage. Tom, welcome to the program. Thanks so much. How you doing? 
I'm doing great, man. You light a lot of these movies and stuff that we see. Uh, yeah, the, the, I just we just did a couple weeks on uh, SpongeBob Two there a few weeks ago. I I did um, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo was the last movie I did all the way through. Awesome, and I, I mean, you told me you got to see this place lit up at night. I can't yeah, wait to see it all lit up. for parties and stuff like the Concern Foundation that's coming. That's a great event. But then we light this up. All the buildings are different colors. We light all the 10Ks on the roofs. We light. This place is gorgeous. Everything inside the interiors all gets lit. You know, they used to say that Yankee Stadium had this mystic feel, and it was uh, like there were ghosts and spirits there from, like, Babe Ruth and stuff. This place, to me, has, like, that magical feel. Like, Humphrey Bogart could have been right here filming a movie. We're doing a production here live, which is amazing. They were. I mean, some ask, you know, a lot of this street's newer. You know, it's about 25 years old, this street now. But, but this still encompasses the area that was used in those days. And... And we do have our own real ghost stories from all the from the cemetery, from the Hollywood Cemetery, right there. That's Which is right there, yeah. yeah and there are many stories over the years of guards chasing people through and stopping at the wall. And 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 you, um, I, I mean, you guys must have a lot of fun. Do you feel that this is a magical place? Yeah, yeah. I still, I'm like that. You're from Yonkers. You're 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 from my hood. I've been lighting for 38 years, and I, I may have had some individual days that weren't fun, but I still love lighting, TV, and film. I still love light. So it is magical. What you do, you create the magic. It's it's all make-believe. It's got to be so amazing. Yeah, it is. You weren't the guy that uh, Christian Bale yelled at, were you, when he yelled about that lighting? Thing? No, that was, yeah. No, I'm just I'm kidding. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So what do you, what is the coolest production you've ever worked on? I don't know. I did a... I, I mean, I did the first seven Star Treks there. I, I worked on part or, or two of all of them. I mean, I did the Star Trek, all the TV shows that were through yeah. here. I did all those. My first TV show I did was MASH back years ago. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. I love that show. Radar? So at Fox, yeah. So um, that was fun. You, but you were a kid back then. Yeah, I was a little younger. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us. It's it's awesome, and thank you for helping us all get electric, electrified. We're using the Felix lights, and uh, you know it's because of your electric and and your electric that we've got all of this going. Uh, so thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And oh, I'm sorry. It's good having you all here. It's great. It's great to be here. I want to come back and have fun with you sometime. What's it like when you're doing a movie shoot? How amazing is it? It's tedious. It's a job. That's the point that people forget. You know, it's you're sitting around all day doing a shot over and over, and it's it's fun at the end of the day. You know, but it's it's work. This is a job. It's fun to come check out the set and then go back. It's like this. She's learning. Yi is a high school student at Hollywood High School. She's been helping us out with her classmates, and she's learning that this very much is a job. It's hard work. Now, it's stress compared to other jobs. I mean, I I I've done something different every day for 38 years. Right. And so you're not, you're not pushing pencils or paper at an office? Not in a cubicle. And you're not digging a ditch? Right. No, it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful job. But the world needs ditch diggers too, Danny, right? That's cool. Very famous line. That's right. <laughs> it is. But, uh, from a movie. But anyway, um, yes, uh, you're having fun and doing something different, which makes it interesting. That's what I love. What about your sleeves? I love them. What are, what, is there themes to them or what? Um, actually, yeah, there is. Because... Um, my first Phoenix I got in life when I was 22, like when I first came out here. And now I'm ending my life with my last, you know, my coming back up out of the flames. Uh, the Koi are just uh, multiple Koi's love of family and perseverance. So these are my daughters, because I have two daughters. And the tiger I've always just loved. The goat is because I'm Capricorn. Pretty simply it. Yeah, you know. Awesome, Tom. You're the man. I'm going to come back and visit you when I come visit. Is that cool? Yes, you can. Oh, I love it. Thank you. And I'll see you next year at Cinegear. Tom, thank you so much. And I didn't catch your name, but I saw you around helping everybody out. So come on. I'm Daniel Lewis. Daniel, you're awesome, too. Thank you very much. You guys do a great job. Do you have fun here? Of course. Work, fun, it's all the same. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Gentlemen, be terrific. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by. It's good to see you. We'll see you tonight when we're packing up. So, Yi, um, we want to do all sorts of cool things like what we're doing here with yeah. Be Terrific. I love hosting. We do more of this. I love what we just did. Yeah. It is a lot of hard work. Yeah. It is a job. Don't forget that. But I think that we have a lot of fun doing it, and it could be worse. We could be doing something else. And so, yeah, we focus on video production, high end, very high end, very low end with eye filmmaking, and then also we obviously focus on uh, doing Be Terrific. So it's kind of all of it is the answer, and I love being a journalist and doing journalism yeah. and this stuff. So. 
One more question, really quick. Yes. Uh, is this the you first can keep time? Going. <laughs> is this the first time you come to Sinegir? It is the Here? first time I've come to Sinegir. It's the first time I've been on the Paramount back lot, and it's the first time I've ever done a production on the Paramount back lot. So that's pretty it's amazing. Special, I can now say it? I've done a production on the Paramount back lot, and guess what? You can do. <laughs> yes. Oh, this is pretty cool. This is the first time I'm in, I'm in here too. And when I came in, I was like, I can't believe all this is in here. When you were like walking outside, you were like, what is I, in there? And like, when you come in here, you're like, wow. I am in total <laughs> awe and it's very hard for me yes. to have happened. I've done some pretty amazing things. I've been very lucky in my life and I'm completely in awe and I'm like a kid in a candy shop. Yeah, and I said, exactly. usually when I was younger, I would act like I've been there before so I could get away with stuff but uh, and do stuff. Which you have to do. Carry yourself very yes. well. Act like you've been there before. But this time, I'm just letting completely go. <laughs> um, anyway, I think we should show the audience how bad that iPad is. How bad is it, Jacob? Let's see it. Let's. No, no, we don't want. We don't want to show it. Yeah, we got to show it. Look, we did it. We broke an iPad. This is my first ever broken screen. But thanks to uh, Apple Care, we'll get a new one. No big deal. <laughs> oh man, it's really broken. All right. This well, is what that's life. When you, record things you know what? Like that should teach you something. Yes. Teach you to always have a good tripod, like the Liebeck tripods. <laughs> yeah. These tripods are phen phenomenal. We're using these garbagey little tripods <laughs> because we don't have room and we couldn't travel with them. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Um, look at this. Yeah. We've got these amazing Liebeck tripods. We had them on before, and you got to go to Liebeck.com or Adorama.com to find out more about the Liebeck tripods and to get a Liebeck tripod. Um, and the Liebeck tripods are phenomenal. They make a lot of other great gear, yeah. the jibs and the rigs and the sliders. And we've got a lot of great uh, sponsors here, by the way. Yeah. Um, did you notice that? Yeah. Airback. Uh, they make great backpacks um, that have an air bladder in them. And uh, they shift the weight distribution and how you carry a bag so it feels a lot lighter. It lightens the load. Of course, bridge keyboards, my favorite keyboard to use with my iPad. It allows me to ditch my laptop at home and bridges the gap between a laptop and an iPad. Yeah. So it's really tremendous. Bridgekeyboards.com. You can go get a great deal on a Father's Day sale. Um, and then we've got uh, Adorama, of course, MXL Marshall, and they've done great with these mics and all that stuff. You can record your own stuff with the mobile media kits in iPhones and iPads. And of course, we've got uh, we've got a lot of great friends at Mushroom Networks, MushroomNetworks.com. They're keeping us streaming, and of course, the Paladin Switcher we're using to make all this possible. So when we come back. We're going to have some more interviews, some more great stuff, and we're going to be cutting a behind the scenes as Josh does his next interview. Yeah. You took us a little bit behind the scenes. You had a little bit of fun, yeah. and it was great. Thanks for helping us You're out. Welcome. Thanks for joining Thanks. us in your first interview. Great job. Thanks to you for giving me the opportunity. You're very welcome. I'm Thank Michael Arts. This is Be Terrific. Keep it locked here. we got a lot more coverage from Cinegear 2014 Live, presented by Adorama on Be Terrific. <laughs>